Let's say we're asked to write the following equations in standard form. Remember that standard form requires the equation to look like ax plus by equals c, where a, b, and c have to be integers, and a in particular has to be a positive integer. So no fractions allowed, no decimals allowed. The coefficients of x and y and the constant by itself have to be integers, where the coefficient of x has to be a positive integer. So let's work through some of these questions. In the very first problem, we have 2 thirds x plus 4 over 7 equals 5y. Easiest way to approach these questions is to just clear the fractions first, because those are prohibited. Then we just have to make sure that x has a positive coefficient. So we can do this by multiplying every term of the equation by the least common denominator. So what's the number that you can multiply to get rid of a 3 and a 7 at the same time? Well, 3 times 7 will definitely do the job. So if we multiply each term of this equation by 21, let's see what happens. Well, the 3 goes into 21 7 times, so this denominator is gone. The 7 goes into the 21 3 times, so this denominator is gone as well. So what we're left with is just 3 goes into 21 7 times, 7 times 2 is 14x, 7 goes into 21 3 times, 3 times 4 is 12. And here nothing canceled because we didn't have a denominator, so all we had to do was multiply 21 and 5, which gave us 105y. Now we're almost there. The x and the y have to be the, on the same side, and the constant needs to be on the same side by itself. Now you might be thinking, hey, it's a lot easier just to take this 14x, throw it over to the other side, and now x's and y's are together, and the constant is by itself. However, then the coefficient of x would be negative 14. We don't want that. We want the coefficient of x to be positive. So we're going to keep the x here, move the 12 over to the other side, and move the 105y over to the left, which would give us 14x minus 105y, because it's a positive 105y on the right-hand side, equals the positive 12 when it moves over to the other side becomes a negative 12. So let's verify. Does it look like ax plus by equals c? Sure does. x's and y's are on the same side. The constant is by itself on the other side. I don't have any fractions. And the leading coefficient, the coefficient of x, is positive. So all conditions are satisfied. For this middle equation, again, we're trying to get it to look in standard form. Nice thing here is we don't have any fractions. So we can jump directly to we want the coefficient to be positive. So if we start with negative 2x minus y equals 4, we notice that actually the x's and y's are on the same side. The constant is by itself on the other side. So really, all we have to do is somehow make this negative 2 a positive 2, and we're home. We can do this by multiplying each term of the equation by negative 1. We could have also divided each term of the equation by negative 1 as well. It would serve the same purpose. Multiplication is cleaner, so we just do that. Negative times a negative will make it positive. This negative times a negative will make it a positive still. And the negative times a positive will leave a negative. So this gives us 2x plus y equals negative 4. And let's see if all the conditions are satisfied x and y on the same side with a constant by itself on the other side. That's done. We should have no fractions. That's OK. The leading coefficient of x has to be positive. Check. So this is the equation of the, the same. Sorry, getting tongue tied. This is the standard form of this equation. The equations are the same. They're just represented in different forms. For the last equation, we see that we have fractions. So the first thing we want to do is recognize that we need to get rid of the fractions. And in order to do that, we can first start by distributing to the 2. So 2 times x will give us 2x. 2 times 1 will give us 2. The reason we do this before we multiply the 5 over is because now I just have these two individual terms, and multiplying both sides of the equation by 5 
leads to fewer mistakes. So the primary goal is to get rid of fractions, but we're doing this distribution first to make sure that we don't make a mistake when we multiply the 5 over to the other side. So multiplying the 5 over or multiplying each term by 5 is the same exact thing. This 5 and this 5 will cancel each other out. And on the other side, we don't have any denominators, so nothing will cancel. On the left-hand side, we're just going to be left with 4y because the 5s go away. 5 times 2x gives us 10x. Negative 5 times 2 gives us negative 10. At this stage, we can recognize that if we move the 10 over to the other side and the 4y over to the right-hand side, we can actually get the x to be positive, x to have a positive coefficient, which we need. So once we have no more fractions, the movement of the terms is really given by whether the coefficient of x is positive or negative. If it's already positive, moving the x term is only going to make it negative, which we don't want to do. So we're better off moving the 10 over to the other side, making it positive, and moving the 4y over to the right-hand side, making it negative. And this doesn't look exactly like this, so all we have to do to finish out the problem is just rewrite it so that the 10x plus 4y are on the left-hand side of the equation and the 10 is on the right-hand side. Now, this looks exactly like that.